As a community, we must do all we can to ease their pain. Are there any suggestions how we might help? How about we get rid of all the Mexicans? Mr. Garrison, every Christmas you suggest we get rid of all the Mexicans, and every Christmas we tell you no. Rats. Hispanic people suffer from discrimination and racism as well, and currently it is at an all-time high due to concerns over immigration. In the past 25 years, tens of millions of people, the majority of whom are Hispanic, have come to the United States illegally in search of jobs and a better life for themselves and their families. But many Americans blame the nation's woes on illegal immigration. You. Go to your country and do Watching this. You. Go you. to your country and have them care of you Watching like you. we take care of you. Go to your country. Some Americans blame the nation's economic problems and unemployment issues on illegal immigration. These folks apparently fail to consider the trillions of dollars the taxpayers have given to the big banks and too big to fail corporations in the forms of bailouts and tax incentives to take high paying American jobs overseas. Many Americans are vehemently opposed to the unchecked flood of immigrants illegally crossing our southern border. Some even propose toughening our immigration laws and adopting laws like this one. Immigration officials must ensure that immigrants will be useful elements for the country and that they have the necessary funds for their sustenance and for their dependents. Immigrants with fake papers or who enter the country under false pretenses may be imprisoned. Foreigners who fail to obey the rules will be fined, deported, and or imprisoned as felons. Immigrants who violate the terms of their visa may be sentenced to up to six years in prison. Citizens who help illegal aliens enter the country are themselves considered criminals under the law. Believe it or not, what you've been reading is the immigration law of Mexico. The truth is, America has had a much more tolerant view on immigration than any other country in the world. In 1986, President Ronald Reagan granted amnesty to more than 3 million people, more than 90% of whom were from Mexico, who had immigrated to the United States illegally. And I supported this bill. I believe in the idea of amnesty for those who have put down roots and who have lived here, even though some time back uh, they may have entered illegally. And I'm going to do everything I can, and all of us in the administration are, to join in again when Congress is back at it to get an immigration bill that will give us once again control of our borders. The bill was passed, but almost a quarter of a century later, we still don't have control of the border. But are the Mexicans really the ones we should be blaming for this? And can we really blame them for coming here when we've given them jobs, health care, government benefits, and educated their children for the past 40 years? Would we not do the same thing if we were in their position? The majority of these immigrants are hard-working, ethical people who are filling a niche in our society. The immigrants are taking advantage of an opportunity which has been intentionally provided for them by the American government and the corporations controlled by the elite. Thanks to these controllers, immigration theater in America hasn't changed since the days of Ronald Reagan. With regard to the employer sanctions, this we must have that. These are employers down through the years who have encouraged the illegal entry into this country because they then hire these individuals and hire them at starvation wages and with none of the benefits that we think are normal and natural for workers in our country and the individuals can't complain because of their illegal status. Ronald Reagan's 1986 immigration bill provided steep penalties for businesses that hire illegal immigrants 
yet there has been virtually no enforcement in all these years. And there isn't going to be. These giant corporations have lobbied year after year against any crackdown on immigration. The abundance of cheap labor has enabled big business to keep wages low for all of us. The immigration problem didn't happen by accident. It has been deliberately caused by the global elite to further distract and divide the American population. But racists come in all colors. If the Republicans are bad, the Republicans are bad. The Democrats are bad, the Democrats are bad. Racism belongs to all people, unfortunately. After passing a controversial law to enforce immigration, Arizona was labeled a bigoted, racist state, and boycotts were declared nationwide. But are Hispanics free of racism? The National Council on La Raza is the largest Hispanic civil rights organization in the world. La Raza means the race. Can you imagine the scandal if there was a white organization called The Race? You may never have heard of La Raza, but there have been some pretty important people running it over the years. Then there's the Reconquista movement. Although Mexico started two wars with the United States and lost both of them, Mexican school children are taught that the southwestern United States is part of Mexico. Never heard of that? You probably won't on the American news. It wouldn't be politically correct to talk about it. The contested portion of America is called the Republica del Norte, or more commonly, Aztlan. The name Aztlan comes from the mythical paradise of the Aztecs, the land of the seven caves. Modern-day Aztlan is the land of seven U.S. states. There are seven stars on the flag of Mecha, another Hispanic organization dedicated to Hispanics living in Aztlan, America. So who's funding these organizations? Where do they get their money? You guessed it, the global elite. They fund the printing of school books teaching Mexicans to hate this country from childhood. The globalist-controlled Mexican government and media encourage their people to come to America and reconquer what they say belongs to Mexico. We will not stop! We will take up our shovels and our pickaxes that we break the land and make your landscaping and clean your toilets and our fathers. We will use them against you! Believe that! The latest propaganda placement is a film called Machete, released by Fox Media and directed by Robert Rodriguez. This is Machete, with a special Cinco de Mayo message to Arizona. They called him Machete. Machete depicts white Americans opposed to illegal immigration as murderers and glorifies the uprising of Hispanics against the white invaders. We didn't cross the border! The border crossed us! They just fucked with the wrong Mexican. Machete. While it is not a movie that is likely to be taken any more seriously than Spider-Man or Harry Potter, the globalist influence in this propaganda piece cannot be ignored. But the truth is winning out overall. More and more people of all races are waking up to what is really happening to all of us and who is responsible for it.